The sides PQ and RS of the quadrilateral shown below are parallel. Compute all the inner and outer angles of the quadrilateral. Here, PQ RS is the given quadrilateral. PQ and RS are parallel lines. Given angle P is equal to 50 degree and angle R equal to 110 degree. We have to compute all the other outer and inner angles. What is angle C? Angle C is equal to 180 degree minus 50 degree. Since it is a linear pair, it is equal to 130 degree. What about angle D? It is also a linear pair. So it is equal to 180 degree minus 110 degree. That is equal to 70 degree. We know that the co-interior angles formed when the parallel lines PQ and RS are cut by a third line SP are supplementary. So angle A plus 50 degree is equal to 180 degree. Angle A equal to 180 degree minus 50 degree that is equal to 130 degree. What is then angle B? Angle B is equal to 180 degree minus 130 degree since it is a linear pair that is equal to 50 degree. What about angle E? The co-interior angles formed when the parallel lines PQ and RS are cut by the third line RQ are supplementary. So angle E plus 110 degree equal to 180 degree. Angle A is equal to 180 degree minus 110 degree that is equal to 70 degree. Then what about angle F? Angle F is a linear pair that is equal to 180 degree minus 70 degree that is equal to 110 degree. So we have found out all the inner and outer angles of the quadrilateral. We are moving on to a new topic that is regular polygons. Consider the triangle ABC. If all the angles of triangle ABC are equal, what will be the measure of each angle? Sum of angles of a triangle equal to 180 degree. So since all the angles of this triangle are equal, the measurement of each angle is 180 degree divided by 3 that is equal to 60 degree. If all angles of a triangle are equal, what about its sides? If two angles of a triangle are equal, then the sides opposite to these angles are also equal. So all the sides of this triangle are equal. If all the sides of a triangle are equal, what about its angles? If all sides of a triangle are equal, its angles are also equal. Such triangles are called equilateral triangles. If all the angles of a quadrilateral are equal, then what about its sides? Are they equal? In a rectangle, all the angles are equal. What about its sides? All sides of rectangle are not equal. Only opposite sides are equal. Then, name the quadrilateral with same sides and same angles. That is a square. Square is the quadrilateral with equal sides and equal angles. If all angles of a quadrilateral are equal, what will be the measure of each angle? We know that the sum of interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. So, quadrilateral has four sides. So, the measure of each angle equal to 360 degree divided by 4 that is equal to 90 degree. On the other hand, if the sides of a quadrilateral are equal, will the angles be also equal? A parallelogram with equal sides may not have equal angles. If angles are also equal, then it must be a square. So, we can say that square is a quadrilateral with equal sides and equal angles. If all angles of a pentagon is equal, calculate the measure of each its angle. Number of sides for a pentagon is 5. So it has 5 angles. Sum of interior angles of a pentagon is 3 into 180 degree. That is equal to 540 degree. So the measurement of each angle is equal to 540 degree divided by 5. That is equal to 180 degree. If we draw a pentagon with each angle 180 degree, is it necessary that all the sides are equal? Think about it. A polygon with equal sides and angles is called a regular polygon. A polygon 
with equal sides and equal angles is called a regular polygon. It is the examples of regular polygon, equilateral triangle, square, regular pentagon, regular hexagon are all examples of regular polygon. Now let's watch a video to understand more about regular polygons. The first figure is a square and its four sides are equal. Also the four angles they are also equal. So it is a regular polygon. A polygon with equal sides and equal angles is called a regular polygon. Consider the next quadrilateral. We can see that the sides are not equal and the angles are also not equal. One of the angle is different from the other three angles. So we call it as irregular polygon. A polygon with unequal sides or angles is called irregular polygon. Consider these shapes. Can you identify which of the one are regular and which are irregular? Let's group it. Consider the first triangle. Its sides are equal and its angles are also equal. So it is a regular polygon. The next figure. We can see that the sides are not equal angles. They are also not equal. So it is a irregular polygon. Next is a pentagon. We can see that the sides are all equal. Also the angles. It is also equal. So it is a regular polygon. Next figure is a hexagon, heptagon, it's are also regular polygons. Consider the next figure. Here we can see that all angles, sorry, all sides are equal. What about the angles? We can clearly see that all angles are not equal. So it is a irregular polygon. The next figure it is a rhombus. All the sides are equal. The angles they are not equal. So it is an irregular polygon. Next is a rectangle. The angles they are equal. What about its sides? Only parallel sides are equal. So it is an irregular polygon. Hope you understand how to identify a regular polygon from the polygon which are not regular. We can do a problem. A, B, C, D, E is a regular pentagon. Calculate the three angles at the vertex D. Here a regular pentagon is given. We have to calculate the three angles at the vertex D. We mark the three angles. We name it as angle A, angle B and angle C. Since it is a regular pentagon, all the angles are 108 degree. So angle DEA equal to 108 degree. Also angle DCB equal to 108 degree. Now consider the triangle EDA. EA equal to ED. Since it is the sides of a regular pentagon, in the case of a regular pentagon, all the sides are equal. So, EA equal to ED. Since two sides of triangle EDA are equal, it is an isosceles triangle. Since angles opposite to equal sides are equal, we can say that angle A equal to angle D. 
since sum of angles of a triangle equal to 180 degree angle A plus angle D plus 108 degree equal to 180 degree while consider a triangle EDA. So angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degree minus 108 degree that is equal to 72 degree. Angle A plus angle D is 72 degree. So angle A equal to angle D we have angle A is equal to 72 degree divided by 2 that is equal to 36 degree. So we have got angle A and angle D. Now we have to find angle B and angle C. Similarly, consider the case of triangle DCP. While following the same process, we will get that angle C is equal to angle E is equal to 36 degree. Now, we have got angle A and angle C at the vertex D. We have to find out what is angle B. We know that the total angle at angle D is equal to 108 degree. Angle B plus 36 degree plus 36 degree equal to 108 degree. That is angle B is equal to 108 degree minus 72 degree. That is equal to 36 degree. So we have got that at the vertex D all the angles all the three angles are 36 degree each.